And also, you know, academics briefly talked about this. I remember when academics, he he briefly talked about this on, on one of his live streams when he pointed out the connection between, you know, this uh this was right when this was during the beef. But I wonder if if academics has recently spoke on it. But this is what academics said about a month ago, two months ago. In my, what I personally think, he probably texted a couple of hoes that was at the Airbnb earlier. This was when the shooting first happened. This was when the shooting first happened and, and everybody was like, man, who was that white dude that was in Drake's video, right? Probably like, yo, oh, I'm gonna text, oh, this bitch and her friend, she probably gonna come through, oh, they gonna fuck us all, all right, yo, I'm gonna yo, we, we, gonna be at, we gonna be at the Holiday Inn, blah, blah, yo, you and your friend slide through the hour. They're gonna, they're trying to check in or trying to book something, they're in the parking lot, they're still in the car, or maybe they smoking before they try to get in the room or whatever. People pull up at that point. Clearly, whoever pulled up knew what car they were in, I don't know if it's a rental. There's so much to unpack. And I will also tell you this now, if you've never watched an academic stream when shit like this happened, if you're on one, of, if you're on some like little fake gangster shit, you should probably also leave. I don't want to hear nobody talking about Fed shit, you know. Oh no, 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 no! It's, it, it wasn't that one. Damn, it wasn't that one. Uh, what, where's the one? Hold on. Damn, that's not the one. Yeah, here he goes right here. It's it's all it's you know historically. I remember reading this like maybe like over a year ago. It was said that Drake's house was allowed to to to, to break certain type of codes for like fences like he he could have a higher fence than anybody else without the city getting mad a lot of it for privacy but definitely for security now i say that to say his house was kind of almost designed like a fortress um if it, like you know, again you've been there physically seen it you don't think these guys were, were expecting to see drake himself or thinking that they were gonna get beyond the gates what, what do you think i think that they were just trying to send a warning in some kind of way <laughs> also i was on a radio show earlier this afternoon because anytime something like this happens all the mainstream quote unquote white media stations and stuff like that who don't know shit about hip hop they hit me up and they're like okay well what's your take on this everybody and all these different news stations trying to connect Kendrick Lamar and whatever to this whole thing yeah. that's nasty work me yeah well, well, uh, well here's the thing it's always in the time of it's always in the time of yo you're in a high profile feud whatever mans want to get some shit done they're like yo you know who they're gonna look at let's run that play now um obviously for the people not involved in hip hop that's where their natural inclination is gonna be I, I, I quickly like within like minutes was you know talk to a few people that like yo this got nothing to do with Kendrick Lamar but it is good to have him as a cloak while they were there you go. Mm -hmm. it's one thing to send, you know shoot somebody on a tour bus or whatever you might not ever use that tour bus ever again you might not be in that location but if you shoot at somebody at your at your home it's, it's almost it's, it's almost it's worse than getting a, a break in an entry you don't feel good now when you're driving toward the gate you're, you're looking over your shoulder to see if somebody's gonna pop out the bushes with, with a gun like that's crazy shit at. here we go right here and 100,000 people watching do you think Drake immediately now knows where this came from Oof. do you Possibly. think he has any idea Possibly, I don't think maybe he might have a bullseye right on the, on the money, but he probably has a few things in mind of where it can come from. Wouldn't you? Yeah, well, I, well, immediately I would think, who am I into it with like that? <laughs> who yeah. the hell am I into it with like that? That they feel that they have to send. That's a powerful fucking message. Like, yo, act. There's one thing I didn't. You didn't. Um, sorry to interrupt you, but you didn't review when you were covering the Family Matters video. Yeah. yeah. In the last beat, when yeah, yeah, he's yeah. over there, he goes to talking okay. to that dude. Yeah, yeah, who yeah. the hell is he talking to, nigga? That's what I was trying to figure out when I was reacting to the shit. Who the fuck is that nigga with the bandana with the tattoo on his neck that he's talking to? You, you, wait, are you, are you asking this like rhetorically or you're, you're genuinely asking who he is? No, I'm asking for real, for real, because I watched your reaction. I did a reaction and, I, you know, we assumed at first that it was some kind of Hells Angels. But then when we looked at it a little bit more, that looked like a, a Mexican or some kind of, you know, some kind of blood. So, and it was just a random conversation that's happening in the video. Why is it there? Hey, from what I got told, this is what I got told, okay? So I got told. I get, I get a random call. And a random call that says, hey, listen, by the way, you see the guy who's Drake's talking to at the end of the video with the bandana? Mm -hmm. That's one of the leaders of Hell's Angel. Why, Drake? What? Why? And best believe he's doing this on purpose. He's he's he he wants people to see this. Like this is a message, and it's very interesting, right? Because this is on Family Matters, and so I don't know. Is 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 this Drake trying to like take a shot at Kendrick Lamar? Like, hey, you better be careful. Look who I'm like. It's very interesting that he chose to show him on a disc about Kendrick. 
So is this like a message to Kendrick? Like, hey, look who I'm talking to. And then family matters. Like, is he like threatening? Maybe in this song? You is he like threatening Kendrick family or something? Like, this, this is very interesting. And Drake don't do stuff just out of coincidence, right? Drake is a very meticulous, you know, person. Nothing is by coincidence, in my opinion. So it's not a coincidence that Drake with a song to Kendrick Lamar titled Family Matters with this person. This is, I don't know what this is. And then all of a sudden, Drake, I mean, not Drake, and then all of a sudden, Rick Ross get, you know, in an altercation with one of the alleged members. But this ain't going to help you win Black Man of the, of the Year Award. Uh, I hope you know that, right? This ain't going to help you uh, identifying what your blackest friends, as you said, you know, as you said in this video clip. You know, you know, some of my blackest friends. Yeah, this ain't going to help you, you know, re really relate to, you know, some of my blackest friends, you know. We all are across the world, you know, with uh, with this with this, you know, with the person that's that's currently in, in, the, in that position and, you know, having that that energy trickle on down. But that line is just me speaking to the other side of things, which is like, you know, sometimes like, you know, um, some of like my my blackest friends can be just as as cruel on the other end. Mm. Um, so is that why you got in the connection with him? Some of your blackest friends can be cool. So shit, who, who, who can be even crueler than your blackest friends? So now you having conversations with one of the leaders of the Hell Angels? Okay. Yeah, that's not going to go well with some of your blackest friends. <sighs> oh, and, shit. And allegedly that guy lives in the neighborhood with Drake. He lives in Drake's neighborhood, allegedly. It's one of the... Kind of, you know, some kind of blood. So... And it was just a random conversation that's happening in the video. Why is it there? Hey, from what I got told, this is what I got told, okay? So I got told. I get, I get a random call. And a random call that says, hey, listen, by the way, you see the guy who's Drake's talking to at the end of the video with the bandana? Mm -hmm. That's one of the leaders of Hell's Angel. Oh, and, shit. And allegedly that guy lives in the neighborhood with Drake. He lives in Drake's neighborhood, allegedly. So he's in this neighborhood. Drake fucks with him. Recently, Drake posted a bike. Drake bike, Hell's Angel. And I think I thought that was sending a message. I thought yeah, yeah. I thought that was sending a message. Drake had posted some bike. Um, see, even Keep Six posted it. Yo, Drake flexes his Hell Angel uh, ties on his story. Yeah, I posted it too. And at the same time, there was a um, years ago. There was a picture that he had with a Hell's Angels sweater. Yeah, yeah. So, for, right. and, and it, it would make sense if I'm listening to Drake, who starts off the track. If you go to Family Ties, Drake Family, no, not Family Ties. I mean Family Matters. He literally, he literally starts off by saying, "You know who really bang a set? Why do you know who really bang a set? Chuck T C B." And he basically paints out a picture like you're not a guy like that. Like you're, he's like literally says, "Yo." He said, but if you had a set, they would give you as a DP, but you a civilian gang in real, real life, you PC. Now, I think a lot of people on the surface look at that to be like, yo, well, Drake, aren't you like a civilian too? And I think Drake, in a subtle way, not that Drake is repping nothing, is almost showing that, yo, I'm probably in or around the the whereabouts of certain mans that's that's like kind of like that more than you are, bro. Just like we. <laughs> wow. So it seems like I, I I don't know. Cause he over here trying to convince us that he black. But then what what you talking to the hell angels for? You trying to say that Kendrick Lamar ain't really about that life, but nigga, you ain't about that life. You, nigga, we've seen how you grew up, bro. We've seen how you grew up. We've seen that you live in a very nice neighborhood. So what the fuck are you talking about? How are you going to... 
Drake, bro, stop, man. Stop. What are you doing? This don't. This literally makes no sense. This nigga is all over the place. Now you. Now you hell's angels now. We we two different people. I think that's the only significance I could possibly see because that whole that whole thing where Drake is walking and talking to this dude, it's like really dark. This is like so yeah. dark about it. It felt like it felt like it was like Drake ordered a hit. It felt dark. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Dark. This is like so yeah. dark about it. It felt like it felt like it was like Drake ordered a hit. It felt dark. <laughs> So is it ironic that Rick Ross got stole on? Man, y'all hit that like button, man. How many likes we got in this? I, I haven't even been paying attention, man. Send to the damn chat, man. How many likes? Man, hey, get them likes up, man. Come on. let's. Get, can we get 400 likes? Man, I'm over here breaking the code, man. Get get them likes up, man. Let's get them likes up. Salute to the 400 people in the chat, man. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, man. What in the... Uh, Jimmy Christmas is going on. Drake, why are you doing this? I mean, I, I kind of understand why you're doing this, but you don't need to do this. You gonna get yourself in a really, you gonna find yourself in a bind, Nate. I'm in a bind, Nate. You you messing with a lot of different organizations, and it's like, bro, it's like, okay, I see you doing this, I see, you, but then you do that. It's I'm confused. It's like, all right, you say, you know, you want to be embraced as a black man, and you know. You have this identity, I won't say identity crisis, but it seems like you have some insecurities of, you know, being mixed and you've been getting teased and, you know, you want to kind of prove to people that you're black, but then you do this. It's like, I don't, it's just, it's just, it's just like, you just all over the place, man. You just, <sighs> I need a drink.